hi guys welcome back to my channel i just want to say thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers i remember when i was literally trying to get to 200 and it took like over a month just to do that and now like i got to 800 so fast and i'm so grateful and i thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel it truly truly means the world to me and of course in honor of hitting 800 subscribers almost to a thousand i am going to be doing a little giveaway in this video and it is a giveaway of one of the products i picked up from the crayon case i love indie brands so much i talk about them quite a bit on my channel and today i have a huge haul from the crayon case if you're not familiar with the crayon case you should be especially if you've seen some of my other videos because you guys know how much i rave about the blush binder this was my first product i purchased from the crayon case best investment of a piece of makeup that i've ever bought in my entire life I love this so much, but we're not going to talk about this today because I've talked about this way too much. I'm going to show you guys everything that I bought from the crayon case. I did not own anything else except for that blush binder, and the whole site was 50% off, so I took advantage of that. So I was surprised everything that I bought, I bought like 20 plus items, fit in this box. Like, I was a little shook. I was like, what? Why is it so tiny? But here's the box. It's really heavy, and this shipped so so fast. So if you want to see my crayon case haul, then keep on watching. So you guys, I love this box. It's so cute. <laughs> the crayon case. That's cute. It's a nice little touch. Here we have everything in here. Really, really nicely packaged. Everything's in here. Okay. So I have my little sheet. Yeah. How many items did I get? I bought a lot. I have a lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the price of these items as well. But before I get started, I do want to say that I am going to do a video, a full face, or try to do a full face of the crayon case in a future video next week. I'm hoping it'll be up. But the only thing that really won't be a part of the full face is the foundation because they don't have that, but they have concealers. So the first thing I decided to pick up was this loose leaf makeup wipes. This retails for $6, and you get 25 wipes in here. I see a lot of people on Instagram talking about how good these wipes are, so I thought that I would dry them out, so I picked them up. I picked up the Crayon Case Honor Roll Highlighter. It's literally like a diploma. This retails for, how much does it retail for, girl? 15 8 no. What? $18. Let's see. I love the packaging of the products. Everything is literally school supplies, and I love it okay oh, this is so cute it literally says on a roll highlighter wow this is so cute oh and it says established 2017 that's really cute whoa this is a gorgeous freaking highlighter oh and it feels oh whoa oh my gosh oh my gosh do you guys see this wow that is beautiful and it feels so buttery and it looks so freaking good on camera next up i picked up a concealer i just really eyeballed this there are no swatches online this retails for five dollars and i just picked the color that i think would go really good with the under eyes and i think this might be a really good shade i picked up the shade 15 and it's really cute because it actually looks like a highlighter the attention to detail with this brand is phenomenal all right so i picked up a seven count pencil brush set this retails for 18 dollars and these brushes look like pencils these are so cute i wanted to try out their brushes okay these are cute why didn't i buy two of these why did i not buy two? oops i'm dropping some what oops wow it looks like i'm holding a pencil you guys <laughs> whenever i use these in a tutorial y'all might be like girl are you using a pencil like these are so cute and they feel very soft and not like these don't feel cheap if that makes sense like these feel really good next thing i picked up was the sharp me fine point tip liner this is in the shade white i got this because it looked like a pen like a pen this one retails for five dollars and it's just a white eyeliner i don't own a white eyeliner that's not a cream 
so this is exciting. I also picked up two other eyeliners. This one is the Line Me Liquid Liner. This one retails for $6. Ooh. And let's see how this one looks. Oh my gosh, this looks like a freaking Sharpie, you guys. This looks like a Sharpie. Do you guys see this? Like what? Oh, the last eyeliner I picked up is the Sharp Me Fine Point Tip Liner. Don't really know the difference between these two. I know this one, this Fine Point one retails for $5 as well. And I did pick the matte one. They had a different finish, but I love matte finish with my eyeliners. Also picked up these two brushes. I picked up two of the same brushes. This is the paint brush. I picked this up because I follow the crayon case on Instagram and I always see their crayon cuties using this to cut their crease and I'm like okay their and their crease looks so freaking good. So I was like let me go ahead and try this because this looks like the perfect crease cutting brush and I need a, a good crease cutter brush. I have one but like I really wanted to pick these two up. I also picked up the Ann Glola highlighter and online it didn't look this deep but this looks really deep like maybe too deep for me um on my skin tone this retails for $15 I think whenever they have this sale again I'm gonna try to look up their other loose highlighters I don't really know what I would use this for because it is a little deep but I'll figure it out but this is their like most popular I was going to say flavor. This is their most popular shade in their loose highlighter, so I wanted to pick it up. I also decided to pick up a setting powder from this brand. The setting powders retail for $20. I got the shade Y. It was really hard picking out the shade online because there aren't any swatches of anything or models wearing the products. So I just had to go on their Instagram and like try to see, like find swatches that other people have done. And I think this might be my best bet of a shade. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. I'm really happy with this. So basically, this is literally chalk dust. I love that. The theme is amazing. Like, this looks like chalk dust. I also picked up the eye glue stick. And this retails for $8. And basically, it says it goes on white, dries clear. So they literally made like an eyeshadow primer after the Elmer's glue, this school supplies thing theme just really gets me, you know? It really, really gets me. So I'm excited to use this. I've heard people say that this is really good if for cut creases, not so much eyeshadow priming, but we're gonna see when we test it out in the upcoming video. Next, I picked up a mascara, and this is their new one, I believe. This one just came out. This is the Marker Mascara. This retails for $9, and yeah. That's it. Mascara. For lips, I picked up two lip products, but I also ordered a little minute ago four lipsticks from the crayon case. I haven't even gotten around to trying them yet. I'm going to show you guys two because they're all neatly put in there. So I just ordered like two liquid lipsticks from the crayon case. Didn't use them yet, but I plan on it. I got two glosses because people rave about their glosses, you guys. They rave about these. So I got the shade Private Party. Oh, I love the packaging of this. It says hall pass collection that's so cute okay so this is the shade private party a nice pink gloss all of their glosses retail for six dollars which i think is such a good price point but this one's private party i think this will look gorgeous with a brown lip liner okay you guys know i love my gloss and my brown lip liners together they're just the perfect combo also picked up which one is this soft twerk <laughs> Soft twerk, you guys. That's a cute name. And I think this one's like a purpley pink. Yeah, whoa. This looks like a Barbie pink. Wow. I want to see how this is going to look. If I can't wear this, then my mother will definitely get use out of this because these are the kind of colors she likes. I definitely could use this one, but we'll see how it goes on. Of course, I had to pick up eyeshadow palettes. I was so sad that the Box of Crayons box, her first palette that she released that really got her brand like, talked about, that was sold out during the sale, which really sucks. So hopefully for Black Friday, I can pick that up. You guys, side note, for Black Friday, the crayon cases sales are ridiculous. I think last year the whole site was also 50% off for Black Friday. 50 or 60% off. But it was ridiculously, like, 
it was such a good sale. I missed it, unfortunately, because I, well, I didn't really know much about the crayon case, but after the fact, I saw people posting, getting their orders, and, and I heard more about it. But if you guys like what you're seeing in this haul, Black Friday's almost here. They're gonna have another sale because Supa loves Black Friday. She talks about it all the time because it's such a good time for businesses. So I picked up the Watch Me Blush Palette. This is supposed to be like an all-in-one type of palette, like a blush, highlighter, everything like that. This is so long. Oh my god, this is such a long palette. So this palette retails for $18. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is such a long freaking palette. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so weird to store. Okay, this is cute though. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. Pan sizes on steroids. Okay, so yeah. So there's some eyeshadows in here, some contours, there's some blushes, which I love, and then there's also some highlighters. So I will definitely be dipping into this palette in that upcoming video, but this is the Watch Me Blush palette. That blue is like pretty. It's so pretty. Lastly, I picked up the Matte Book palette. You guys, online, I thought this was so much bigger than what it actually is, but it's not a big palette at all. It's actually smaller than uh, the Morphe James Charles palette, the palettes from Morphe that come in that size. It's a lot smaller than that, so that it, hopefully that's a good comparison for you guys in size wise but this is literally a matte book it's a palette full of matte shadows but it's like a matte book you guys the school theme the school theme oh my gosh okay so when you open it up you have the shadows and then you also have like you know like your homework it's like a book i love the little graph paper in there that's cute and the back has like all the math stuff that I don't remember how to do. It's really cute. Like, this is cute. I can just, dang it, I put the pencils away. But take the little pencil brush thing and just like, I'm doing my homework. You know. <laughs> this whole row of neutrals are perfect to pair with the matte shades. Absolutely beautiful. And that brings me to the giveaway because I did not just pick up one matte book palette. I picked up two. So I am going to be giving away a matte book eyeshadow palette from the crayon case. So to enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. One. Two, follow me on Instagram at Tatiana.anisa. If you don't have an Instagram, that's completely okay. That does not disqualify you from the giveaway. And comment down below and a place for me to contact you. If you don't have a contact, I can't let you know if you want or not. So the way my giveaways work is that I pick people at random. I put your name in this little generator thing, and whoever pops up is the winner of the giveaway. So it's completely fair and square. I don't announce the winners of my giveaway. I just, I just message them on Instagram or wherever privately because I don't want, I don't want, you know, you know, they won. So if they want to tell people or post it on Instagram, that's cool. I've had some people that won my giveaways post it on their story and tag me in it. They're the ones sharing that they won, not me. I'm very excited about all of my stuff I got from the crayon case. I think I bought everything on the website except for the, for the box of the crayons palette. I really took advantage of that 50% off sale. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and enter into the giveaway down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.